I think it's been amazing and it's it's something not limited to the US. It it's everywhere in the world and I travel a lot to Pakistan which is my native country and that has been happening since I was a child I've seen women doing their own businesses. Mm-hmm. I think that it's it's so important for women to do businesses because somehow they do get left behind in the corporate race and I've seen that everywhere and it's not again this is something that is not different geo- geographically i've seen this in middle east i've seen this in pakistan and this in south asia and i've seen in the us that women get uh, somehow pushed out of the career ladder because of family because of children for some reason as the same everywhere um and eventually they have to become financially independent i mean there's no there's no way to avoid it and they've taken up businesses and in Pakistan women have taken up all sorts of businesses and I've seen this in the US and I think that this is I think this is the biggest thing that is united women across the world is the entrepreneurial thing it's really something to connect with women across the world and I think it is so important because when you're a woman leader when you when you have a business you hire other women you hire uh, girls that would not get a chance or would not be even comfortable working in a male dominated uh, corporate culture mm-hmm. so i think that that's a uniting factor for women all across the world exciting i agree yeah. so what are your thoughts about a hair hub concept in some of these middle eastern countries you've spent i am so excited i was uh, the other day only i was thinking about this and i thought gosh i think hair hub would be wonderful you know in places like uh, Pakistan or anywhere actually especially in the Middle East where there is already a separation of the sexes um, men are traditionally doing the work outside the homes they dominate the work culture and even if a woman does make it into into corporate and, and there are women working in corporate in the Middle East but they are considered they they can they considered to be good enough for just certain roles um, they are not going to be given leadership roles easily unless you know in the middle east especially it's a lot about family and and uh, you know succession and who gets to inherit the company so if you're not within you know within the elite mm-hmm. you're not going to be able to create a leadership role for yourself in an organization so i think that this concept is going to be absolutely amazing uh, because women want their space they're used to having a space separate from the men mm-hmm. and men would be husbands would be comfortable in and having their wives or their daughters thrive in a space like this so i think go for it felina this is the place for you to and they're well to do economies yeah. i mean they're well to do yeah. people they yeah. would be willing to invest yeah. in something like that Exciting. All right, here I we come. I'm excited about that. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.